we're going to do the implementation of a Skittles-based reinforcement learning agent for, uh, for NIM. This is the same um, uh, reinforcement learning agent that is described in Martin Gardner's um, article on Hexapon in mathematical um, in the Scientific American Mathematical Games section. Anyway, um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the notebook where, where I've defined NIM, and, and you can look at our previous videos for that. Uh, essentially, I've done the initial state, valid moves, show state, update state, win status, and then three agents here, human move, perfect move, and random move. For This is for, for NIM, and I'll make use of those as I go along. Here's a sample run with perfect agent versus random agent, and perfect agent wins. Okay, so <clears throat> in order to do the uh, agent, the first thing we have to do is we have to define a, a move um, function, which I'll call Skittles move, um, and and it always takes a state in the player. Uh, but because we're going to be using uh, information and updating tables and so on, I also include some extra information. That's where our table is going to be. And I'll call our Skittle table S, uh, and so I'll pick off that. Well, other two other pieces of information that are set by the game simulator uh, that are going to be used are the last action um, and the last state. And so this is done so that uh, um, uh, so we can update the the, the table and uh, um, and. Uh, and so on from the last action and the last state of mid game. Uh, first thing we need to check is basically what happens, you know, if the state that we're seeing right now not in the Skittles table. What happens then? Well, we need to add it. So if the state is not, uh, uh, sorry. So if the state is not in the 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 the, the table, I'm going to add another table which we'll have for our actions. And I'm going to add, uh, um, I'm going to go through all the moves, so which I'm calling action here, in our uh, valid moves. That gets the state in the player. I'm going to go through all those and set the state action pair equal to one, and this is one Skittle. So, so this, this adds something to the table that wasn't there uh, already. Um, in a basic way, then, I just simply need to do a weighted choice of the Skittles table given uh, the, the state. And this returns a, a move, uh, which is a weighted choice depending on how many Skittles there are. So I can even do you know, you know, more than one Skittle if I, if I really wanted to. Um, if the move, if there are no good moves, so no good moves, um, that means we've, we've, we've ended up something with, where there aren't any Skittles, and we need to remove one from the last action uh, in, in there. And, and pretty much uh, that would that would look like something like uh, state at the table at last state and last action is equal to zero. Basically, remove the Skittle. All right? Um, there's a weird corner case that happens sometimes where essentially the, this, this agent could be called for a um, uh, at the beginning of the game when they hadn't done any moves and it still loses. Uh, that can happen in some cases, and so we need to catch for that. Otherwise, the, the agent will crash. It's not going to happen often, but it just takes once. So if, so if the last date doesn't really exist, then I'm just going to return a... Uh, a, a, a random move uh, given the state in the player. This is just to kind of do that kind of bizarre uh, um, uh, little little corner case. Okay, um, back to here. So if the move is none, we've lost. It doesn't know how to how to react. It's basically going to resign, but it's, since it's not allowed to resign, it's going to return a random move. So it takes away that skittle. It knows it's going to lose from now on if it's playing a perfect player. So it just kind of plays randomly after that. Um, otherwise, we're going to return the move. Okay. So this is pretty much the way that we way that that goes. So let me shift enter. Um, now to make the agent skittles agent. 
is equal to agent and give it the move. Skittles move. Uh -huh. And we uh, and we'll also need to make a table Skittles agent dot s is equal to an empty table. So that that's uh, let's start with empty table. All right. Now, it's also the case that after we lose, at the end of the game, we need to learn from that one. Uh, but we have no more moves, so, so Skittle's move is not going to ever be called again. So the, so the simulator allows you to make a function that's called at the end of the game, after you've won or lost, um, just to kind of do some cleanup or some last... Uh, um, um, so in this case, kind of some last adjustments to the table. And, and the, the syntax for this gives you the win status, so it gives you a status, like a win, lose, or stalemate, and who the player is, and also the info that we, that, um, that we have. And we're going to do the same trick with the last action and the S and so on in, in here. And that's the, uh, that, that's the end. And the only other thing I'm going to need to do is if I lose, so if the status is equal to lose, then I'm going to get rid of that skittle. I don't need to return anything. I'm just kind of, you know, doing some doing some cleanup. Um, I do, however, have to tell the the simulator to use this function after after. So so this is the kind of the post function is called by the simulator after the agent loses and allows you to do that. Um, that kind of cleanup. So that's pretty much it for the for for the agent. Let's let's test it out. Let's see whether whether, whether it works. So um, I'll start with one game, and and I'll put the um, Skittles agent against the perfect agent, and. And see what, um, and and I'll put a report even though this one game. Okay, so it goes through game one. He lost. Okay, and we can look at the Skittles agent s to see what 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 happened. And essentially, we have these are all the states it's it's seen. These are the actions one, two, and three, and the number of Skittles. And 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 in the last move, it took three and lost because it was at, at the bad number of five. And so it won't ever do that move again. Now we can do, we can do the same thing, but run it several times. And and uh, so I'm going to do number of games equals let's say 25 g dot uh, uh, display equals false so that way I get get rid of the capital F uh, get rid of the display so and and then and then do the report so then I run that runs 25 times it's winning 16 percent of the times now uh, losing 84 percent I run it again now it's winning 100 percent of the time run it again it's what winning 100 percent of the time and I can do skittles agent dot s and look at the table and this is what it looks like, and so it knows that essentially, you know, when it gets to state four, it it uh, it takes three sticks. Um, at twenty, the optimal move is to take three sticks, and then uh, at seventeen, it's all bad, and at sixteen, it takes three sticks, and so on all the way all the way down. Um, we could probably make this a little bit more robust by forcing it to see states that it hasn't seen, maybe start with you know a random amount of sticks, and then it would learn pretty much the, the, the game completely. So that is our uh, uh, Skittles for NIM agent, um, and I'll have a few additions to it in another video.